Well, the spring of 23 has already had its challenges and it's been some really wild and crazy temperatures and swings and weather. In this case, the field we're in here, we planted on that Monday afternoon on April 10th. And that's really early for us, earlier than I normally would go. I like putting beans in early, but corn, i am not seen a big yield push to put it in. What excited me that week was we had four days forecasted of low 80s. And so we averaged that week 81 degrees from Monday through Friday. And you can see the response here to this corn. And this corn didn't have the greatest saturated cold germ scores, but we knew we were gonna have really warm soil temps. And these soil temps in the afternoons of that week, of the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th, they were in the low 70s. And that's what it takes to get corn up. You know, we're looking at what, 120 heat units, GDUs to get it out of the ground. In this case, you can see, it came right up, and I really like the stands we have here. And then it comes to this morning on the 24th, Monday morning the 24th. And we had lows in that 27 to 29, and we're here in the river bottom, and we had a good frost. And you can see in the plant, I took a picture of him here at six o'clock, and you can see the frost on his leaves. And those few that really got frosted, you can see the effect, and he's laying over, and he's already totally damped off. Talking of my agronomist, Ken Ferry, he's saying as long it's cosmetic, as long as we have a really good live stem here, this plant should take right off and it should not be behind. The most I've found here looking around in the field is 2,000 per acre. A lot of checks, I only have one that looks like it took some frost damage. So pretty thankful that we got through like we did. Of course, we look at this week of the 24th, and there's nothing I get excited about on corn planting. We're probably going to sit off to the side because I get really nervous when we got lows of 38 and highs of 56. I'm looking for 55 to 60 degree soils, and I know that in this case, we're going to struggle this week. It's a good week to finish beans. We only got about 7% of our beans to go, and we'll get through a little rain here tonight. We're going to put the beans in this week, let the corn planters sit. Next week on May 4th, now those are temperatures I like. 56 to 54 for lows, 71 to 73 for highs. We'll go ahead and finish the commercial corn, put it in next week, and then we'll just be sitting back and waiting for seed corn. You know, when it comes to seed corn production, those male corn rows, that male seed doesn't have a lot of push. So we'll want temperatures, once again, up in that 60 plus, so we get these kind of good stands. All in all, I feel pretty comfortable what we got here. I think we're off and running. I see nothing here that wouldn't stop us from high yields.